Today we're going to talk about how to delete comments from our comment section. And this is going to be very similar to the previous episode where we did actually go in and learn how to edit our comments. As you guys can see, if I go into the website here, we can go down to a comment, hit edit and write something random. And as you guys can see, we did actually edit the comment. Now, when we have to delete the comment, it's going to be very similar. The only difference here is that we don't actually need to go in and create a separate page. As you guys can see, when I hit edit, I go into another page to actually edit the post. Now with deleting, we just simply need a button that says delete. And when we click it, we need to activate a function that just deletes the comment. So this is going to be a very, very quick episode compared to the previous one. So what we need to do first is we need to create the delete button. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go in and find the place where we did actually create the comments. So I'm going to go into my comments.ink.php file. And then where we have the get comments function, as you guys can see, this is actually where we spit out all the comments. We're going to go down to where we have the edit button. I'm going to copy the edit button, which is this entire form down here and paste it right on top of it. Now I'm going to take this second form and I'm going to change it so it matches whatever I need to use it for when I have to delete a post. So first of all, we need to take a look at the inputs, which one, which ones we do actually need to delete a post. Now, when we think about it, the only information we need to actually delete a post is figuring out what the post, you know, what kind of ID the post has. So the only input we need down here is actually the one that goes in and references to that specific post which in, in this case is going to be the one called CID. So we can actually go in and delete all the other inputs. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them here. And afterwards, you guys can see that the only thing we have in here is an input and a button. So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and just rename what the button says. Right now it says edit. I would like for it to say delete. And I'm also going to go ahead and change the class name from edit form to delete form. Now the next thing we need to do is actually change the action because right now, as you guys can see, we do actually tell it to go to a separate page when we hit the, you know, the delete button. So what we want to do instead is to tell it to run a function. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the path, delete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and write double quotes, two of them, two punctuation marks in between here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write some PHP code, which is going to be the name of the function we wanted to actually run. So in this case, I think we should call it, what did we call the other one? We called the other one edit comments. So I think this one should be called delete comments with a big C because that makes sense. And that's pretty much it. So after we've done this, let's actually go to the style sheet and go down where we have the styling for this form, which is called edit form. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it, all three of them. We do actually have the primary styling, then we have the button styling, and then we have the uh, hover effect styling. So after we've done this, we can actually go ahead and say that we want to change the name from edit to delete. And now we need to think about what, you know, how we want it to look like. Now, in this case, we don't want it to be positioned in the top right corner because that's where the edit button is. If I were to actually go in and refresh the browser, you guys will notice that, well, we do actually get an error message, but that's because we didn't actually create the actual function yet. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So we don't get the error message. If you go back to comments.ink.php, we need to create the function called delete comments, which we referenced to. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go down beneath my function called edit comments. And I'm just going to go ahead and create this function we have in here. So I'm going to say function, delete comments, open up the curly brackets. And that's pretty much it because now we should not get an error message. So if I go back in here, refresh, you guys can see that now it looks normal or at least almost normal because you guys will notice that the edit button and the delete button are right on top of each other. We don't want that. So what we need to do inside the styling here is where we have the delete form set as top zero pixels, right zero pixels, we're going to go ahead and change the right positioning. So I'm going to say, let's say 40 pixels just to see how it looks like. And as you guys can see, we did not do it 
just enough. So let's go ahead and say 60 pixels. And there we have it. So now we have a delete button we can actually press and then it's gonna run the function. But as you guys can see, when I click it, nothing happens because we don't actually have anything inside our delete function. So what we need to do now is simply tell it what to do once we hit that delete button. So I'm gonna go into my function called delete comments and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy whatever we have inside our edit comments because it's gonna be very similar to it. So once we copied and pasted it inside our delete comments, we can actually go ahead and tell it that we want to change the is set function or is set um, checking in here. So instead of checking for comment submit, I would like for it to check for comment delete. Of course, we need to change this as well. So if you go up to our form up here, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and name our button. Comment delete. Now we don't really need to do this, but I think it's just a good exercise to name every single form. As you guys will notice, we didn't actually name the form down here, which edits the, the message or just simply takes us to the edit comments. But the reason we didn't do that is because we didn't actually run a function directly. So I didn't think there was a reason to give it some kind of name down here. But since we're actually running a function directly inside our delete form, then I think it's a good idea to first of all name it. And let's go ahead and set a type. So I'm gonna set the type as submit, just to have it in there. So now what we need to do is go down and continue with our delete comments function. And as you guys remember, we actually deleted all the different inputs except for the CID. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these down here as well, because we don't need them. Afterwards, I'm gonna go into my SQL function down here, or my SQL string, and change it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do in here is we're actually gonna go ahead and just delete everything we have in here, because I don't see a reason to have it. And then we need to write delete from, and then we need to tell it which table we're gonna delete from. And I do think we call it comments. If I can spell that. Afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and tell it where inside the comments table we want to delete some information. So we're gonna say where. And then we're gonna set the CID equal to, single quotes, equal to the variable we have up here called CID. So now we're telling it we need to delete something from the comments table where the CID is equal to the comment ID of our post. So now know specifically which one to delete inside our table. So after we've done this, we're actually pretty much done. Because after this, we just simply run the query, which goes into the database, actually runs the SQL sentence, which means that it deletes the post, and then it returns us back to the front page. So now, if I do actually go back to our website, refresh, whoops, we do actually want to completely refresh this, like so. And if I go down to the one called, this is a comment, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, then I can actually go ahead and click delete. And we do actually get an error message. So let's go ahead and fix that. Ah, okay, so we do actually need to pass in the connection as well, because we didn't actually have a connection in here. So let's go ahead and go back to our function. So what we need to do is we need to pass in the connection just like we did with the edit comments, because otherwise, it doesn't know what, uh, or what our connection variable down here is, so we need to pass it inside the parentheses up here as well for it to actually know what this is. So after we've done that, let's actually go back and try this again, and we do get another error message, and this is very typical. So if we go back to our comments.ink.php, you guys will actually notice that we did actually forget to include the connection inside our delete comments parentheses up where we did actually reference to it inside the form. So we need to include it in here as well, which I don't know why we forgot to do. I just didn't think about it. So after we've done this, we can actually go back refresh. And as you guys will see, we get no more error messages. Now, if we hit the delete button, as you guys can see, we have deleted the comment. I can also delete the top comment up here. And as you guys can see, it's deleted. So it's not as difficult to delete comments. It's actually more simple than editing them and this is pretty much what's to it. So with this information, you guys should be able to do something similar like this inside if you were to create 
let's say a forum where people need to be able to edit or delete a forum post. It's just like doing it this way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.